critical condition at Tampa General Hospital after an electric heater in his home ignited paper and fabric. Fire officials are worried that there'll be a rash of fires like this one if the cold weather continues. So today they are reminding Tampa residents that heaters that use kerosene or other fuels are illegal in that city. And anyone using electric heaters should keep them far away from things that could catch fire. That when you use these heaters, if possible, to turn them off at night, grab an extra blanket because this may prevent a fire such as what occurred last night. The family of the man injured in that fire spent a day... Fire investigators blame a portable heater left on through the night. It set afire a box full of clothing and caused $40,000 worth of damage. The Tampa Fire Department spokesman says a new ordinance makes it illegal to use portable liquid fuel burning stoves inside and that all merchants who sell them have to tell their customers by posting a sign. Well, even if you use an electric portable heater, the dangers are there. Not necessarily an impoverished society, but anyone who's trying to save some dollars, cut costs, this is an ideal way to cut costs. However, from our end of it, from our uh, perspective, it's dangerous in that it can cause a fire, it can kill you, and there's no dollar value that we can place on a human life. One easy way to avoid problems, turn portable heaters off before going to sleep. Use an extra blanket instead. Well, they... Section of engine three quarters in a hose clamp. QSL. QSL, we're 